y'all, this is a judgment-free zone. We are back meeting people who are living, you might say, unconventional lives, like our next guest, Robin Greenfield. The 37-year-old says he understands why some may be judgmental of his lifestyle. 12 years ago, he decided to give up most of his worldly possessions and go completely off the grid and started living what's called extreme minimalist. Take a look. Dying with nothing is my goal in life, really. That is my life's dream, to die with nothing. My name is Rob Greenfield, and I am a minimalist who has lived with as few as 44 possessions. I don't have a car, no bank account or credit card, and no cell phone. I eat nothing packaged or processed, but instead, herbs and greens that I forage, and then occasionally, a deer that's been hit by a car. The U.S. has 5% of the world's population, but consumes 25% of the world's resources. We are destroying this earth, this one home that we have, and it makes a lot of sense to change our ways. I want people to see that another way is possible. Wow. Fascinating. Okay. Judgment-free zone. Please welcome extreme minimalist Robin Greenfield. Come on out, Robin. So nice to be here. Look at you! You did it! <sighs> wow! <laughs> well, this feels a little weird. No, don't! This is, a, you know what? This is my Tam Fam, and you walk out that door, you're a member of the Tam Fam too. That's how we look at it. Okay. All right. So, you don't have a bank account. You cut up all your credit cards, your social security card, driver's license. You don't own a cell phone. You do not own a pair of shoes, which is why you have no shoes on. Yeah. How are your feet not blistered? Well, um, I just want to say I'm so grateful to be here Aww, with all of you. Yeah, and that's cool. Yeah, it's, uh, when, when I was sitting in an off-the-grid cabin in northern Wisconsin in this like peaceful, quiet life, and then I got an email to come join you, Tamara, and I was like, I'm on my way to New York City. Aww. So 20... And I should tell people, you are so pure in this journey. He did not accept our flight. You wanted to drive because you wanted to minimize the pollution that you were putting out in the air. Yeah. So, but, but I'm happy, and no offense, you did accept our hotel so you could get a hot shower. Yes. So, so did that feel good to have a little hot water on it you? Did. It and did. And as you saw from the photos, I usually swim in the lakes and rivers. I went to Central Park this morning hoping to take a swim, but I didn't find a lake. So. It's illegal. Don't do that, okay? <laughs> don't, don't do that. But as I said, you have no shoes. You live off the grid in the woods. This is your life. But this was not always the journey. You wanted to become a millionaire by age 30. Mm -hmm. What changed in your life? Yeah, so... That's you. That's just the same guy. Yes, that is me. <laughs> so I was very focused on material possessions and financial wealth. I was pursuing the American dream, and I was, I was on the path of becoming a millionaire by the time I turned 30. What were you doing for a living? I ran a marketing company in San Diego, and what happened was I started to watch a lot of documentaries and read a lot of books, and I learned that the American dream is in many ways the world's nightmare. Yeah. You know, the way that we're living is causing such destruction, and it's so dominated by just corporations telling us that we need to buy this in order to be mem contributing happy, healthy members of society. And I just wanted to break free from all of that. Mm. I wanted to live in harmony with the earth, with harmony with the people that I share this earth with. Yeah. And I love that. I know a few years ago you did an experiment to shine a light on the amount of trash we create. Take a look. I'm here in New York City, and I'm going to do a little experiment. For the next 30 days, I'm going to wear every single piece of trash I create. I'm going to live just like the average American, creating four and a half pounds of trash per day. I'll eat, shop, and consume just like the average person does. I won't turn down any trash that's offered to me, from flyers and plastic bags to straws and cups. Wow. So that experiment was to help change our perspective, but obviously 
You had to buy things to fill the bags. How do you take? How do you get money? Where's the money coming yeah. from? I guess if you're minimalist. Well, so for me personally, I've committed to earning less than the federal poverty threshold per year, not to simulate poverty, but to keep myself from overconsuming, to keep myself living really simply. But I also own a nonprofit, or not own, but work Run with a nonprofit. nonprofit, and projects like this are funded through the nonprofit. Okay. My job is to live simply and sustainably to show another way is possible, but my job is to reach millions of people right. and show this other way is possible. So how much do you make right now to live minimally? So right now, my net worth, everything that I own is $6,500, and I have $2,500 cash, no bank account, no credit card, and that's sitting in the room right next to- I'll be to right back. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> So um, each year I earn less than $10,000 and I've committed to earning less than the federal poverty threshold for mm. my entire life. Wow. And one of the reasons why is because federal taxes, when we pay those, yeah. we contribute to police brutality and mass incarceration mm. and the military industrial yeah. complex. So for me, this is about saying, I'm not gonna contribute to that. Right. Instead, 100% of my media income is donated directly to nonprofits so that the money actually goes to the people who are serving the people rather than war. Wow. You've become so self-sufficient that you don't use anything bought in the store, including toilet paper. You grow. How do you grow? <laughs> do you grow see, hashtag grow your own TP. How do you grow your own toilet paper? So this is a beautiful plant. It's called the blue spur flower. I used to call it the Charmin of the garden. And it's way <laughs> softer than anything you can buy at the store. Charmin the, of the garden. The leaves are just the size of a piece of toilet paper. It's in the mint family, so it even has a minty smell. <laughs> Some people on YouTube call me Captain Minty Bottom, which is, <laughs> you know, it's like... So you just use the leaf? Yeah, you just use the leaf. Nature provides us with everything, everything. we wow. need. Wow. Oh, well, I think that's phenomenal. Um, family, loved ones, friends. Did everyone in your love circle embrace this? There's certainly been... Plenty of people who have embraced my lifestyle, but there's certainly plenty of people who don't. A they lot of like pe people who are related to you? Yeah, definitely some of the people who are closely related to me have had some differing opinions, and some actually we aren't, we aren't in connection anymore. Oh. But some, uh, our bond is stronger than ever. Like my mom right now, you know, I'm 37 years old, and I love my mom more than I've ever loved her in my entire life, and that's come through. Um, it's, it's come through developing a more yeah. universal love in general. Yeah. And so, yeah, there's, there's always a struggle in living different to society. Every day I walk against the grain of society, and that's going to mean that sometimes the grain is, is going right. separately for people close to me, but sometimes that's a sacrifice that needs to be made. And also, there's 8 billion human beings. I live as part of a global humanity. Yeah. If someone doesn't like me, there's That's 8 okay. billion other people yeah, out there. I love that. <laughs> it's impossible to live in this society and live out your beliefs perfectly. It's, right. it's just not possible. So my message to people is one step at a time, how can we take our lives back from consumerism to live the lives that we really want, where we're happy, where we're healthy, where we're contributing to the well-being of Earth, yeah. of humanity, and our plant and animal relatives. There's no one way, there's no right way or wrong way. I'm just living my life as a way of showing people that another way is possible and hoping that maybe you'll go out and be barefoot. Oh my goodness! I okay. adore you! Listen, I don't know about my bare feet and I'm not using that leaf, but... <laughs> You said so many things that I take to heart, and we all could look at the man in the mirror and decide what we can do to contribute. Yes. So congratulations on this Thank journey and, and raising awareness. Give it up for Robin. Be safe on your drive back.